I'm Seth Peterson. I'm Tyler Weir, and we're at the Dyke House, which is the Student Athlete Center here on campus. It is located at 1396 Stadium Road in Brookings, South Dakota. Here's a picture of the front of the, di of the Dyke House. Note the great big open windows. Uh, a design error that we saw was the slanted roof, how it comes down to the middle. Uh, if we got a lot of snow here in South Dakota, that might uh, cause a problem. Also on the front side of the dike house, it, um, this has a combination of brick and glass, and uh, this really helps the letters pop out for uh, people who haven't been here before. Here's the entryway for the dike house. As you can see, it has handicap accessibility, <coughs> and over also to the left is a security card that you need to enter the building after hours. Also note the double entryway, which will keep snow and rain out during those harsh months. This is a stairwell just inside the dike house. It has a unique stair design with wood interior. Um, also honors the donors who uh, help pay for this with a club, club plaque on the wall. And there also is a stair sign and showing you know there's a staircase nearby. Here's the main hallway in the dike house. Note the nice tile floors and also the wooden doors to the left. Also, the tile comes up a little bit along each side of the wall to protect the walls from uh, water and mud that people might track in. The deck house here is also equipped with an elevator inside. Um, as you can see, they got signage for an elevator on the left side. Also, they got signage in case of, of a fire to not take the elevator and take the stairs. We decided to do the football portion of the dike house. So here, as you can see, is the entrance to the football locker room. Note the signage that says football locker room with the university number. <clears throat> and also that black box is the security card system required to get into the locker room. Here's just a close up of the football locker room sign and security card system. Um, the security card system is a really uh, unique feature and a really smart feature uh, for the locker room as only football student athletes uh, can get into the locker room 24-7. Here's the inside part of uh, the football locker room in the Dyke House. As you can see, um, they got newer lockers with the wooden finish rather than the metal and it's pretty open space so that teams can meet before they head out. So here's another picture of the locker room inside. As you can tell, um, they use the same kind of wooden finish as they do in the other parts of the dike house. Also, if you can tell, uh, they got lockers on all sides of the outside of the locker room, plus three to four rows. And if you could, another flaw that we uh, saw is on the, in the rows on the outside, uh, the lockers are a little bit bigger than the middle ones, so they must not um, evaluate it and... Um, calculated the space they needed. Inside of the locker room we have the team showers. There are a few design errors when it comes to these. Over to the right as you can see there's only one handicap stall for 100 plus uh, guys on a football team where injuries are pretty prevalent. Also <clears throat> you can't really see it but the concrete floor does get uh, pretty slick when wet uh, which really isn't good in a community shower. Other design errors include the water control handles for the shower sometimes falling off. Right next to the showers is the locker room bathrooms. As you can see, it has many privacy urinals as well as stalls, uh, which is very useful for such a large team. Inside the dike house, uh, right here we see a laundry chute uh, right next to the door over there. Also, uh, with along the walls, laundry lockers where they get all of their um, clean clothing from the, the washer and dryer, and they put it in there and get ready for practice and games. Uh, uh, one flaw we uh, found out in that hallway was that the floor can be very slippery when uh, using cleats, especially if it's raining or snowing. Going out of the locker room, there is a TV used for team announcements as well as university announcements. So the team can see them when in the locker room. Also, to the left of the TV screen is a well-lit exit sign. So this picture uh, shows the east side stairwell of the dike house. As you can see, it has the nice uh, wooden finish on the railings that it does in other parts of the dike house. 
And also a uh, really cool thing is the tile is the same as the floor. Um, also it has great great window, great big windows over on the east part of the wall and lets in uh, the natural light. Also we have here uh, the wired railing in between the two wooden pieces of the stairwell. This uh, provides safety for those who are going up and down the stairs. As you get upstairs, the first thing you notice are the wood accents continuing to the second level. Secondly, you notice the safety features of the fire alarm and fire extinguisher in the hallway. Lastly, you can see the nice tile seamlessly connecting with the carpet on the second floor. This is a picture of the football team meeting room. The first thing you notice are the large windows which allow ample amount of natural sunlight into the room. Secondly, a cool feature of this room is located right in the middle of the room inside of the wall is a room divider, allowing the room to be divided up into two smaller rooms so the team can divide up into two groups. So here's a little closer uh, view from the team room outside to uh, the stadium. Uh, a really cool experience here is they actually sell tickets uh, for the game. Uh, in this area and uh, this can come in handy when it's really cold out for donors and uh, people who are coming to take a visit and stuff like that. Um, it also provides very good natural light for the team meeting room and uh, just overall great experience from being inside there watching the games. As we go to the right here you can see the patio that is connected to the team room. Uh, this is used during the games and such. Uh, people who Purchase tickets for the team room can also come out here and just watch the game from here. Here's a view from the outdoor balcony of the Dyke House. On game day, tickets are sold for this area. Notice the safety features of the balcony area. The first safety feature we see is a railing with wire in the middle. This keeps people from falling out of the balcony area and onto the ground below. Also notice a sign that says no food or beverage on railing. This is to prevent people from putting food or drinks on the railing. So this is uh, the upstairs hallway that goes from east to west. As you can see on the right, uh, it has a women's and men's bathroom, but there's not a unisex bathroom. Also, uh, there's two water fountains that are in between the two bathrooms. And then far down the hallway, you can also see the exit sign that leads uh, back downstairs. So now we enter into the secretary area or the waiting room for, uh, for those who are visiting. Uh, as you can see, they have the football sign on the window of the door, which is a pretty cool um, little thing. And they have the wooden finish on the door. I mean, we've seen that all through the dyke house. And it, also you can see here uh, the lack of seating they have inside here. Uh, you only see a few chairs, which uh, could cause problems if they have multiple visitors. Pictured here is the football trophy case. As you can see, it is made out of wood. A flaw that may arise in the near future is that the size of it may be a little too small and they may need to extend the trophy case uh, for future awards. Here we see a cool list of all former and current Jackrabbit football All-Americans. Note how it is uh, backdropped out of wood, which is a big theme in the Dyke House. Here's a close-up of some of the trophies in the trophy case. If you look to the right, you will see the Dakota marker, which the football team plans on keeping for quite a while. So also here on the second floor, uh, we see all the coaches' offices. As you can tell, it's well lit, um, a lot of rooms, it's well designed. Um, there's windows above the doors that allow light in, which uh, makes the coaches not as crammed or feel like they're inside so much in a small room. So here we got one of the offices out front. As you can tell, uh, each uh, office is labeled by a name of a coach and a number. Also, you can see on the bottom of, with a black pad is a messenger board where either the coach or a player or somebody else could always post a message on there when, when they're not in, in the office. Here's a look inside of Coach X office. The first thing you see are the two big windows which allows a lot of natural light into the office. The second thing you will notice is in the upper left hand corner a TV screen which doubles as a computer screen so the coaches can watch film on it. Pictured here is the entrance into the football lounge. As you can see there are three TVs which allows players to watch different shows all at once. 
So here we got an inside part of the player lounge. Um, as you can tell in the back area, it's like a sandwich making area along with a full size fridge, a shuffleboard in the back corner along with on the side of the wall there with a the TV. There's actually another one which includes a Xbox and PlayStation and then they also got a seated couch area where a lot of players like to hang out. So here we got the entryway uh, to the offensive line room. As you can tell it's got the same wooden finish as much of the dyke house has. Um, it is numbered and has that messaging pad right underneath the room. Here's a look inside of the offensive line room. The first thing you notice are the multiple rows of black leather chairs. This is to distinguish the starters from the backups. One flaw of the room is that it is poorly ventilated, so uh, it can get quite stuffy during those long meetings. Here's a picture overlooking the outside ground level of the dyke house. Note the unique driveway of the dyke house and the large windows which allow ample amounts of natural sunlight into the building. Here we are in front of the dyke house. Looking back on the tour, you can really tell that this facility was built for not only student athletes in mind, but also fans for providing a great game day experience. One really good, good thing uh, they made about the Dyke House is uh, they have the availability to make it bigger if the school becomes bigger. Um, some negatives it had though, uh, as you can tell the, on top of the roof, it's slanted in so the snow gets caught up there and also isn't stable enough to um, hold a scoreboard for the stadium. And once again, I'm Tyler. And I'm Seth. And, and thank, thank you for, for watching our presentation. presentation.